The project I'm going to be working on focuses mainly on uh, monitoring the growth of two bacterial species, one being uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and the other being Staphylococcus aureus in different media. My mentor is trying to see why in some patients suffering from cystic fibrosis, they tend, some patients tend to have an overgrowth of uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and other patients tend to have an overgrowth of Staphylococcus aureus. The goal of the project is to reduce the risk of head injuries in field athletes by testing various materials brought in by companies nationwide. A professor told me about it and I was like, that sounds really interesting. And in the description, there was Python, there was HTML, there was JavaScript. I was like, I knew all of this. I didn't think that I would be able to do an internship, but I knew everything there. So I knew that I would be able to do whatever they wanted me to do. One of the biggest outcomes of this program has been to be a co-author in two different research papers. This is something that I never imagined in my life. And I went, the first day I walked into this, I never imagined I was going to be able to be part of a research paper. And maybe one was a lot, but now two is, <laughs> is incredible. I thought I was, if I was going to be author like number 10, but actually I became author number two. So that's incredible for an undergraduate student. I'm going to be working with the Material Science and Engineering Division, specifically the Functional Polymers Group, and they are studying different molecular potentials, and I'll be programming scripts for their Python module to store data into their force field repository. I think MC prepared me well for the internship. I already took physics, core classes in physics and chemistry, and when I uh, was doing the internship, I also was doing mechanics and materials and the concepts in that class applied very well to my work. My immediate plans after Montgomery College is to pursue a bachelor's degree in bioengineering at uh, the University of Maryland at College Park. Now after I did my NIST internship, I'm very much motivated to continue to grad school and probably pursue a PhD or master's degree. This internship is really important to me because at MC, I have learned a lot. You know, I've taken chemistry, I'm taking physics, I've learned English and more, but nothing is more motivating to me than being able to apply this to real world situations and seeing science actually come to life. And so this is what this internship is gonna allow me to do and in turn create a contribution to the world of science and society. So really happy about that.